Hello and welcome to another video in my series of videos on Arma 2. Going through some small quickies at the minute, we're doing some tutorials for... Uh, seems to be a lot of things going on at the minute, a lot of players coming in from Daisy are not sure even how to scratch their own ass. So, one of the questions I keep getting asked is... How do I repair vehicles? Well, before we do that, bring up your mouse wheel, go to settings and click toggle hood. This basically means that players on your side will now be visible at the right hand side of the screen and it will also tell you roughly how far away they are when you're in close proximity. So how do I repair vehicles? How do I refuel them? Well this all depends on the game mode that you're playing. I'm currently playing on our own server, Yorkshire Puddings on Patrol and you'll find us uh, in the public browsers if you look for us and I'll put the details on screen. We're actually playing Patrol Ops which is a little bit different to Domination but the fundamentals are the same. So here we have a helo. The helo is damaged and the helo has got no fuel so let's get in. As you can see at the top left engines, rear rotors and something else. I can't see on my screen currently. Something else up there. It's too small to read on my editing suite. Something else is damaged so this vehicle is going nowhere. So as a field engineer I could probably repair some of this damage, not all of it it's got basic damage I can repair it. So in order to repair this vehicle we need a repair truck. This area here is actually a repair point. Now obviously we can't fly to it so how do we get it there? Well there is a tractor and apart from patrol ups there is a towing mechanism so we could actually tow the vehicle to this area and it will automatically be resupplied and fixed. But just like magic here we have a supply and repair truck. Now on Domination there are actually separate trucks, one for fuel, one for ammunition and one for fixing stuff. I forgot the word I was going to say then, but you know what I'm saying. This one here might be difficult to see on the video, but in game it's got, actually got a spanner on the side of it. No, I don't mean a window licker, I mean an actual image of a spanner. For our overseas friends watching this video, that won't make any sense whatsoever. As you can see. So all we have to do now is literally drive this within close proximity of the helicopter and it will actually start to repair it. I'm just going to drive this a little bit closer in here. There we go. Now I'm going to get out. And if we actually work our way back round now into the cockpit and the fanny pit, we should see that the helo is now repaired. And as you can see at the top left, all the damage has been repaired by the helo truck. And depending on the server side... Oh, I shouldn't have started that while the truck was there. <laughs> oh dear. I've repaired it to fuck it to repair it to fuck it again. Yeah. Is it going to let me take off? No, no, it's not. I'm going to have to get out in a minute. Yeah, as I was saying, depending on the, the server type that you've got on, that actual repair could take a couple of minutes, it could take longer. I've just speeded this up now just to give you a demonstration of what's actually what you actually need to do. So now we've got a lame spazzy helicopter. So what do we do, Andy? What do we do? Well in Domination if the mobile HQ is uh, flipped, the engineers actually have, with a supply truck, it has to be with a supply truck, they have the option to, to flip the helo. So I suppose I could tow it but you know Seeing as this is a repair truck, next best thing is to ram the fucker. There we go! And obviously if I park it near I can repair the damage that I've just done. So it's a win-win situation. There we go. Right, no, it's actually the exhaust pipe. There we go. A little bit further back. There we go, and now if we get in there, we should see that there shouldn't be any, if much, damage at all. Oh, there was some slight damage, but obviously as I mentioned before, I am a field engineer, so I can repair some of this damage. It's probably just a buckled wheel or bus tyre, things like that. Let's get in and have a look. All green, all green. So that's how you repair a vehicle. Right, next question I got asked was, how do I put an ammo crate into a vehicle or a helo? I'm going to show you that as well. 
It's actually the same point I just mentioned, the repair centre in front of you on the uh, the helipad shape, you shall see it. We'll land on there and then we'll, we'll use the mouse wheel to select load ammo box. And obviously we can drop this off into uh, friendly troops out in the field. Drop it near the MHQ. If you are lifting the MHQ or a repair truck around, it's best to do it with the Chinook. Not all heat loads can do it, but it will, the game will actually tell you as you get in which heat loads you can and you can't do. So here we go, there's the helipad. I'm just going to lower myself down. I'm going to use the mouse wheel, load ammo box. And as you can see at the top right, it's loading the ammo box. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to fly over here a little bit. So let's imagine we've got some troops on the ground down here, some friendlies, you're playing a co-op mission, not with the turds on a public server, you know, where everybody does what they want. Uh, and you've been designated the pilot, or you're at the AO, you need something. So we're actually just going to fly in now and drop this. Now there is an auto hover function there, which is good for bringing you to a stop, but I wouldn't use this when you're entering uh, the AO, the area of operations it brings you up quite high and you tend to actually get shot down so in domination you can stay further away from the, uh, the red circle as it were the area of operations stay lower come in manually is a lot better or if you have to use the auto hover to come down stay at least three clicks away three miles away to stop getting shot down so I can actually drop this now from as long as I'm under 160 foot we can actually drop this directly down. We don't actually need to land, and this is something not a lot of people know. So I'm just going to come down slightly, and there we go, I've just dropped it. Uh, and as it actually drops, it actually automatically drops smoke, so the guys on the ground know where it is. Brilliant little tool that comes in really, really handy. Obviously, um, is it the first artillery support? I think they can call in airdrops, uh, supplies, Humvees and other things, but uh, it is quite handy to... Um, to be able to have this feature that not a lot of people know about. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you. I know it's, it's, it's a, it has been a quickie, uh, just on the ammo boxes and uh, repair and supply trucks. But if there are any videos that you'd like to see, or anything that you're finding confusing, you can find me on the Yorkshire Pudding server, or you can join us at uh, YorkshirePudGamers.co.uk. We are a bunch of Yorkshire lads. We like to play together, not with each other. Oh, uh. Uh, we have our own TeamSpeak and our own Armour 2 server, so if you'd like to get on and join us, you're more than welcome. Dickheads will get the boot. The rest of you will get a fruit. Couldn't think of anything that rhymes. But anyway, I've been Para. Hey up, lad, how you doing? And I'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching. TTFN.